Welcome back everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be setting up our items because in order to have an inventory, we need some sort of data structure to hold all our individual items. So what we're going to do is create what's known as a custom resource. And this is going to allow us to basically create new assets here in our file system to represent our items. So how do we do this? Well, we're gonna start off by creating ourselves a brand new script in our file system called item. Okay, let's save that and open it up. Now this item script is not going to be attached to a node or going to run in our scene. So we can actually delete the extends node line up there as well as the ready and process functions since we are not going to be using those. Now, what we are gonna have is a class name. So class underscore name called item. Now we're gonna be using this in order to basically identify this class, this script as item. So in our inventory, uh, when we have a variable for our items, we'll have that as of type item. Now we are then going to extend, but not from node, but from resource. And this basically means that whenever we create a new resource, okay, down here in our file system, uh, we can make it of type item. Now resources, these are things such as scenes, textures, models, audio files, um, things such as materials, pretty much everything that we can save here in our file system is a resource and we are creating our own custom one right here. Now what information is each item going to need? Well, we are going to first of all need a display name for of type string. So this is basically gonna be what the item is called. Um, now, in order to actually fill this in, we're going to need to export it. So just add the export tag at the front like so. We are then going to need another variable for our icon of type texture 2D. And this is going to be for the icon that displays inside the inventory on the UI. We are then going to have another variable for the max stack size of type int. And this is basically going to be what is the maximum amount that we can stack this item in one slot. Okay, so in games like Minecraft, for example, it's generally 64 for most items, um, but we can also have different amounts for different items. So by default, I'm just gonna say 12. And the reason why we might want this to be different is because later on, if you had weapons and tools, you probably only want one of those per slot. Whereas if you have a resource like wood or iron, you might want to be able to add more per slot. And then finally, we're gonna have another variable called our world item scene. Now, this is gonna be of type packed scene, and we aren't going to be filling this in just yet. This is gonna be something we do later on in the course. And this here is basically going to reference the scene that we are gonna spawn when we want to drop the item. Because when we drop an item from our inventory, it is going to create a physical 3D model that is gonna fall, bounce off the ground, and we can then interact with it to pick it back up. Okay, so this is just gonna reference the scene that we are going to spawn. Now, one more thing we are going to add here is gonna be a function that we aren't really going to be using uh, in this course specifically, but it is gonna be something um, that we're gonna add and include so that later on, if you wanna expand upon it, it'll be pretty easy to just do that. So this is gonna be a function called onUse. So onUse right here, and it's gonna have a parameter for our player, and it is going to return a bool. Now, if you want to define a return type, so what type of value a function is going to return, you can just add a uh, dash, then a greater than sign, and then the type, which is of Boolean. And pretty much it's gonna go return false. So pretty much in our inventory, whenever we click on an item, we are going to be able to use it. So for example, if it is a food item, we can eat it. If it is a potion, we'll be able to drink it. If it's, an, if it's a weapon, we'll be able to equip it. Um, we're not really going to be looking at implementing those systems, but we are going to have the ability to do so built in to uh, the system here, okay? So that's why we have this function here. Whenever we click on an item in our inventory, this function is gonna be called and we can then override it um, in future scripts. So yeah, just include that for now. Um, and you can of course experiment with it later on. So let's look at us actually creating some items. Um, so what we're gonna do now is go back to our file system. I'm gonna open up the items folder here and I'm gonna create a new folder called item data. Okay. And inside of item data, I'm gonna right click, go create new, create new resource. And here, as you can see, we have all of our different resources. We've got animations, we've got shapes, we've got curves, everything that you might wanna create and save as an asset. Well, we also just created our own here 
remember, we extend from resource and we give it a class name of item. So if we search for item, you should see here, item.gd. We can create that. Uh, we can then give it a name. So let's just say, for example, we will go wood.tres, save that. Now inside of item data, you can see here, we have wood.tres. And if we select it, over in the inspector, we will then have the ability to change its properties, okay? So display name, we can set that to be wood. Icon, uh, we can go down to our item icons here, and as you can see, I've already got a wood.png texture here that we can just drag in like so. Uh, max stack size, we'll keep that at 12, and world item scene, we don't have that just yet, so we'll just leave that as blank, okay? So yeah, that is now a custom resource that is storing the data for the wood item. Then we can utilize that, okay? We can um, read that from a script. We can read the display name, the icon. Uh, we can then give the player a wood item, for example, by giving them this resource. Now, as a bit of a challenge between now and the next lesson, I want you to go ahead and create items for the other two ones that we have right here. Or if you have your own custom items that you wanna create, you can of course do that as well. Uh, but here inside of the default assets that you've downloaded should be a goo and an iron PNG file. So I want you to go ahead and create an item for both of those as well. So I'll see you all then in the next lesson.